This is the uh, this is the flame tube, and uh, here's one that can get this up. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty uh, it's, a, it's a pretty simple thing. I'll just point out. You know how you give your kids uh, lab instructions, and and you might say five things, and maybe these two kids got one of them, and you know <laughs> you're going to be working together, and then you usually say something once the kids start disbanding. Usually, I'm going to be around. You know that isn't the end of the help. So so I'm just going to mention a few things. A miracle occurred. We, I found out that with your hand, you can actually round out the end of this of the downspout, and then a three-inch speaker will, with with not too much difficulty, will wedge in there. All right, so that that'll be one of your. And then hot glue. Right? Yeah. Well, first of all, you're going to take this is twice as long. You're going to cut it in half using a box cutter, and there's a there's a seam in the bottom, so cut from one side of the seam to the other side, and then it'll just break off. Okay. And then uh, you, uh, you you can you can work in, on the speaker, and at the other end, this little guy, this normally is like this against the, the gutter, the horizontal part that holds the water in your house, and then the way this attaches to the gutter, this thing is attached to the gutter, and then this thing slides on there, and the water goes down. So it's an adapter. So so you're going to take one of these and just slip it in there at the other end, and then you are supposed to bring a piece of uh, plastic from a, from a gallon of milk or something, and you're just going to glue that on there. Now, there are four little bumps here, so I brought some file. I would just file those bumps off so that this is really, really flat. Then you can just glue it. And then you'll have to glue around here also, and uh, I, I wouldn't use the glue sparingly. Okay? But the same thing with the other end. You're going to glue all the way around the, the speaker. And it's down in there, so you're going to kind of have to drop the glue in there, and it'll it'll work. It'll just be a mess, but it'll. And we'll leave this one here so you can look at the fine wire. Yes. And then I brought some uh, speaker wire. I take a couple of leads as long as you want them, and uh, strip both ends, and solder the leads to the two speaker leads, so they'll be hanging out here. And tin them. You know, we're all going to help. Some people say I don't even know a wrench from a screwdriver or whatever. It'll be a lot of help today. And tin them, and then. Uh, when you get back to your school, you might want to put banana plugs or something, something on them. Now, uh, this valve, uh, you're going to drill a one half inch hole here, and there's a piece of wood over there. You're going to put this piece of wood into the into the gutter because if you with a half inch drill, you press on, you're just going to cave the gutter in, and it'll go through. I'm not kidding you. In in a, in two seconds, and then uh, a miracle occurs. This valve screws on to the thing, and then of course you have to glue it like crazy. And then the holes, you're going to mark uh, with a with an overhead marker, you're going to mark a hole every inch. And uh, if you brought your own drills, a 116 bit works fine. And we have we have four bits. Drill the holes. And, and we have some drills too. And, and, then, and then you're in business. Now, uh, uh, I made one and, and gave it to Scott, and, and then I, that, that's this one. And he, w he was selfish. And you know how he is. And he, he decided to go to Florida over spring break. So uh, since he since he didn't do his job, okay, that he was supposed to do, uh, I, I made one over spring break, and, and Keith Belloff met me up at Prospect. And we plugged it in, and it started working really well until a huge ball of fire. <laughs> so we had to glue it up. So expect, uh, it would be nice if you tested yours today. And, and, and eliminated all the leaks. And, and, and then we brought it here, and then this side blew out, and I had to hide That's it. right. It's, 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 it's a now the, uh, project. Do we have to, you, you want to move that a little bit away, and then uh, let's uh, let we'll have to turn off the lights here as well. Yeah.
plugged into the microphone jack, a master volume, and then there's even an amplitude on here. So uh, that's one of the trickiest things to learn is how to control your uh, sound values. Bruce, you want to talk about the physics of this and, and the standing weight? Can you tell us where our weight number is? <laughs> here, here. <laughs> but even, even in this, even though it's a, a separate. Don't move there. It's about one foot long. The weight has to be two feet. And the frequency is? Uh, I can't read my dial. Uh, <laughs> Uh, one, one hundred. It's uh, five hundred and forty hertz. Five hundred and forty hertz. No, 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 no. Now, see, this is a this is a nineteen fifty signal generator. Vacuum tubes. Uh, they do have to warm up. Uh, oh, that's not bad. Five hundred and actually, if I was uh, if I was going to help you cheat here, you uh, cheated well. No, no, no. no. That's actually not bad. Yeah, no, that's right. It's somewhere in that area. Yeah. Yeah. 1087 maybe? Uh, isn't there a 1087 number? Speed of sound at room temperature or whatever? There you go. You can look up the speed of sound in methane. Seriously. It's a little higher. And then, uh, if you know your frequency, if you know the, how many loops you want, you can, you then would know what resonant frequencies there are. Hmm. Okay. I know what it's going to do is, uh, if you also can plug in then your, uh, yeah, your uh, iPod, <laughs> and you can. Uh, you can... <laughs> <laughs> Walking by here does today. Oh. 